Broadly, FC is a small football club in Lincolnshire you've probably never heard of, and that's because it's not named after a place, it's named after a person. And this is him, Richard Broadley. The young Grimsby Town fan died from leukaemia at the age of 20, and his heartbroken friends set up the side in his memory. And while the club may be small, it's achieved big things. And as we'll find out in a moment, it's also caught the imagination of a very famous fan. First, though, Richard's mum, Sally, and one of his best friends, Matt, tell the story. Just a wonderful, wonderful, kind, loving boy. He would do anything for anybody. He had a cracking sense of humour and he loved his football. He loved Grimsby Town, absolutely loved them. I was at work on September the 27th, 2011, when I got a phone call to say that Richard had been taken to hospital, where we were told that Richard had leukaemia, um, which... He'd been really healthy, he'd been absolutely fine. They took him straight to Castle Hill um, Hospital and devastatingly he died the next day. It absolutely tore our lives apart. It was so quick, um, so unexpected. Um, you just, you can't explain. Losing a child is the worst thing in the world. We'd taken a year out from Union Truth um, to, to process everything and we came back and we wanted to, to build a lasting tribute to Rich. We knew a football or something football related would, would be the best thing to do. We started the club up in Lincoln initially so we, we obviously we've carried on and it's built up to, to luckily where it is today. For Sunday League football it, it's expensive for, for <laughs> someone who's at uni and not working so I, I reached out to to celebrities on Facebook and within 20 minutes Adam Richmond had got in contact and he's saying what do you need? So obviously Ryan Reynolds is, is coming to Wrexham and uh, it's done a lot for them. They got promoted last year. But Adam Richmond has been here for, for seven or eight years now with us at Broadley. He's championed us from the, from the very off. I'm not saying it's a reason they've all come across, but he's certainly been here a lot longer than, than the others. The work that Matt's done to keep Richard's memory alive has helped us so much as a family to know that he's not forgotten it just means the absolute world to us. We don't want any other families to go through what we're going through. So we raise a lot of money for, for Blood Cancer UK. We wear it on our shirts with, with pride. Um, we've just passed the 40,000 mark uh, for, for Rich now. He would just be so proud of what people are doing in his memory. Amazing. Well done to the uh, whole team and thanks to uh, Matt and to Sally for uh, telling us their story. And we heard about this man, Adam Richmond, star of Man vs Food and president of Broadly FC. An American TV star supporting Lincolnshire clubs long before it was made fashionable by Ryan Reynolds and Wrexham. Are you guys ready? Well, let's talk to the man himself, Mr. President Adam Richmond. Adam, uh, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you for having me back. What is it about little old Broadley that really got you involved in the first place? Because it's a fantastic story. Well, I guess I came on the radar of Matt Newton, who truly is one of the stewards of the club, um, because I had a growing fascination with Grimsby Town, even though I'm an ardent Tottenham Hotspur supporter, <laughs> but he wrote me an incredibly well-written 
letter that was like not overly sentimental, incredibly witty, uh, basically saying that he and his friends were going to start a club in honor of their mate who had played trumpet in the Grimsby Town Band and had died of cancer, of a bloodborne cancer specifically. At that time, my very dear uh, cousin Blake had just been diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And it was like just the perfect timing for the perfect letter, the perfect cause. And I will fully admit, in a, in a moment of total hubris, well, they they obviously <laughs> twisted your arm. It's a fantastic story. I mean, you, and you like this part of the world now, don't you? I mean, I mean, I, I love it. I love it dearly. And I will say, total hubris move. I always wanted to see my production company logo on a soccer kit, so <laughs> I, I fully copped to it. And the first season, in fact, I wrote this great big check because they just wanted me to help sponsor track suits, and I was like. <laughs> The kids came out and they didn't have my logo on it. I was like, well, you, Dude. You, you realize, you know, we know about Ryan Reynolds and, and Wrexham. I mean, you were a trailblazer, really. You were in there first, weren't you? Yeah, I just, I don't have, you know, aviation, gin, Deadpool. It's always sunny <laughs> in Philadelphia money. So right now, I and my club are relegated to the Sunday League. <laughs> Do you like the small clubs, though, obviously? I, I love it. I love football in all incarnations, but the small clubs, especially because. It's right where the rubber meets the road. It's right where young people really may get their first taste of the game and of team sport. And in an area like Lincolnshire, where there aren't like a ton of professional clubs to cotton on to, that it's just so great when you see well, what the Mariners do for Grimsby and to see that Broadly has raised over 40,000 quid for bloodborne cancers. Well, I mean, that, and, that, that is absolutely fantastic. Now, listen, they're going to be watching uh, you, Mr. President, uh, in New York. They're going to be watching the telly tonight, uh, Broadly, the, the, the players and the, and the supporters. Have you got a message for them? I'm just so proud of all of you. I'm trying not to get like choked up, but um, so many people work so hard behind the scenes that don't do food shows on the telly. But for <laughs> every player, for all of their families who support them, who watch the smelly kids at the end of the game, <laughs> uh, to people who maintain the pitch, the officials, you know, both of our sides won last season. So thank you. And thank you for elevating small clubs that do good in the realm of the, the Saudi is giving <laughs> Neymar like $75,000 every time he cuts a hangnail or it's, something. It's one of these bizarre stories that you couldn't make up. Listen, Adam, great to have you on the, on the line there from New, New York. Thanks very much indeed. Keep up the good work. My honour and privilege. Thank you. One of the nicest guys you can uh, meet, Adam Richmond, president of Broadly uh, FC. And uh, don't forget, as I always say, if you uh, have a story that you think we should be uh, putting on the programme and giving some publicity to here on Look North, it is your programme. You know where we are. Uh, drop me an email, give me the details and also uh, a phone number as well.